Welcome back to Supercar Garage ATL. Today, we've got a beautiful MP412C right behind us, and everyone who's ever owned one of these has probably had to deal with the issue we're gonna take care of today, the headlights. These headlights look amazing, but they have a problem. Sometimes they tend to gather some moisture inside, then mold starts to grow, and your supercar headlight no longer looks super. Casey's gonna take us into his kitchen. He's gonna show us how to take these apart, put them back together, make them look new again, and stay that way. If you'd like to have the same thing done to your headlights, you can click in the link below. We'll be able to help you. We can, you can send them to us or you can bring them to us. Let's see what Casey does. What's going on guys? Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be restoring some headlights on our MP4 12C. Let's take a look at them. We have two sets here. One was sent in to us by a customer. The other one sent us his vehicle. Let's take a look at the problems. This is the usual problem here. We got mildew, moisture in the headlamp, which is the most common problem. As you can see, every single one of these has it. And if you look real closely, you can see that this one still has moisture on the inside of it. Now that we see the issues, let me show you all the tools we're gonna need. We got some cleaning wipes. We have antifungal agent for the mildew. We've got our polish, which we use to restore the headlamp. Assorted buffing pads, our drill for buffing. A couple of pry tools for pulling the lens apart from the assembly. Clamps for when we go back together. Some microfiber towels, gloves, and some silica gel packets to keep the moisture out of the headlamps. Let's get started. Your first step is you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 220. And the reason for that is we need to heat up this seal just enough to be able to pull the lens apart from the assembly. All right, just before you put the headlamps in, you're gonna to wanna to remove a few things. And that's gonna be these little rubber bits here. We got one here, one right here on the back. And then one more little one right on top. Now let's stick it in. You have the headlamp in the oven, you're gonna wanna set a timer for 11 minutes. All right, first one's ready. This one up. We'll go ahead and put our next one in. So now we got this heated up, we're gonna wanna pull these tabs around the outside of the lens, just slightly out to release. Notice we got a tab here, 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 in the front, and then we have one right here on the back. So now we got this heated up, we're gonna wanna pull these tabs around the outside of the lens just slightly out to release. Notice we got a tab here, 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 and the front, and then we have one right here on the back. Now those tabs are all out. We're gonna take this guy and start working in. And just slowly prying the pieces apart. Sometimes the tabs like to go back, so just pull them apart. As you're pulling this apart, you're gonna notice that the adhesive is very stringy. You're gonna want to do your best to not let that get anywhere on the lens because it is a pain to get off, but it's not the end of the world if you do. There you go. Once I have these apart, I like to take all the strings and kind of just push them down so they don't get in my way and we save as much of it as possible for when we go back together. Next step, once you have it apart, you're gonna wanna pull this piece off here. Now the best way that I know to do it 
I start from the front, pull up slightly. There's a tab right here on the outside. You're gonna wanna pull that up. And then you're just gonna slide forward. Just like that. And just wiggle it on out. All right, now that we have our headlamp apart, first step you're gonna wanna do is make sure everything's nice and clean. We're gonna do that right now. The reason why we do this is because all that moisture that gets inside the headlamp causes mildew. And we wanna make sure that that does not happen again. When you get to the back of the lens, make sure you take extra care not to scratch it. It's very easy to scratch the back of the lens. Use soft materials, soft strokes. Now that we got our lens all cleaned up, I'm gonna take my nice little buff pad here, apply my secret sauce. Now we're just gonna buff it until we get all the mildew and build up to go away. In between each time, I'm gonna take my microfiber, wipe it down, nice and softly. And what you wanna do, usually you can just hold it up to a light source and you can see that we're starting to get clear here, but we still have some work to do right around here. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's get the assembly ready to go so we can put it back together. All right, now we're on to the best part, the silica gel packets. We need to put enough of these in here to where we'll never have to worry about moisture again. I like to take a few, zip time together, and then I find specific spots throughout the whole assembly to, to mount them. First one, I like to put it right down here under the lens. I'll zip tie that. Because we don't want this moving around, but we want it to do its job. Now we got our silica gel packets in place. Now we just want to piece it back together. Making sure that the tabs all line up. There's one here, one over here, and one up front. All right, before I put the lens on, I like to just hover it over and kind of look around, make sure I'm looking nice and clear because the last thing you want is to put it together and then realize that you missed a spot. I think we're looking pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in place. And I'll just pinch it just a little bit all the way around, making sure everything lines up. Like that. You don't have to squeeze it all the way together because once it heats up again in the oven, it'll go together real easy. Time to go in. 11 minutes. Just pull it out the oven. Now all we gotta do is squeeze it together. Making sure to close these tabs as you work your way around. Now we wanna grab some clamps. Got the headlight all back together. We're gonna do one more final polish over the top and this one will be good to go. All right guys, headlights are done. Let's take a look at them. 
You can see here, nice clear shine. No more mildew. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget, like and subscribe. subscribe.